Ask anyone in America's Southwest and they'll tell you, there's nothing more devastating than a forest fire. What you want to do with all this stuff? But one father-son team somehow found a silver lining in their own fire-ravaged ranch. And when they turned burned trees into bespoke floors, they stoked the flames of a family fortune. Meet David and Shiloh Old. Exactly what you're looking for, though. Oldwood is entirely family owned at this point. We are specialized in fire logging. We're awfully good at it. We take those burned trees and we turn them into beautiful grain floors. Really, any of these end grain products are going to work really well. And the great thing about end grain is it uses a tree that doesn't have a great application in a normal flooring world. Why is that? Because normal wide plank flooring needs a tree with a big circumference. But end grain flooring, you can make that using tiles cut from small or even burnt trees. That's one of the hardest woods in the world. It's an environmental solution and it's a really tough, beautiful floor. There's a lot of customers out there who will agree with us. Our profit margins run upwards of 30% overall with revenues up to about 1.2 million in 2013. Our model is different. Our products are new. The way we do things is new, and I think people latch onto that. It excites people. This is perfect. Wood flooring is an enormous industry, and we didn't really think about that when we got into it. We were looking for something good to do with the wood we had in our backyard. Born and bred in New Mexico, David's been ranching since he was only a boy. My summers, starting at a very early age, were spent up on the ranch taking care of cows, and my father got killed in a plane wreck in 1978 and I inherited a big ranch with about 150 cows on it. The idea of raising a cow and then knocking it over the head did not appeal to me, and I didn't see doing that for a living for the rest of my life. Right about then, my wife got pregnant with Shiloh, and I was not well-to-do to the point where I could just stop. I had to make a living. And to find one, David only had to look out his window. We started off logging on our own family ranch up in the mountains, and we bought that first sawmill, and we connected it to an old tractor for power, and the market dynamic looked like a business. But David's logging business was about to branch off, thanks to a chance meeting with a famous radio personality. An architect friend at church asked me if I wanted to make a bunch of wood for this guy, Don Imus, and I said, sure. Mr. Imus asked if I can make wood floors. I had never made a wood floor. Don't tell him I said so. But after I'd agreed to make these wood floors, I had to figure out how to make these wood floors. Turns out I really needed $65,000 for a molder and basically pooled all the money we could find from my family savings. And I went and spent my children's inheritance on a new molding machine. Which I still haven't seen. You're, you're getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> We started making solid wood floors from green trees initially. At this point, all of a sudden, wood prices went up into three to four dollar a foot range, and it started to look like a pretty good business. Good, sure, but risky? In the dry Southwest, definitely. Because just as the old flooring business was taking off, their ranch was devastated by forest fire. It's been a challenge. It hasn't been fun. There's been a lot of days when I've stood out in the woods alone and cried. I thought after watching acres of wood going up in smoke, this is going to bankrupt you. The life he'd worked so hard to build had burned to the ground, or so David thought, because he was about to find a way to rise from the ashes. I was playing around with a four by four and a chop saw and started slicing off pieces of wood and looked at them and said, that looks pretty neat. Aha, that can be a floor. It was more than just a floor. It was the product that would make old wood a million dollar business. Five years ago, we weren't making ingrain flooring. We were making standard floors. Now that we've made ingrain flooring, we've had some great clients, they keep coming. And uh, that's a big part of the reason why our business is expanding. Expanding is an understatement. Old Wood's revenue has jumped from about $300,000 a year to 1.2 million, an increase of 400%. And with growth like that, David needed a helping hand. I'm 10 minutes late, but if my dad asks, you won't tell him, will you? So I'm uh, primarily the plant manager at Oldwood. My day is spent uh, getting the work crews organized. How you doing? Making sure that basically the product's getting out the door on a daily basis. Are you ripping these now? My dad is definitely my boss. He's my dad and he's my boss, which is hard sometimes. <laughs> I love you, but I see you every day. <laughs> With Shiloh sweating in the warehouse and David schmoozing in the home office, 
old wood has grown into new money. We've gone from being a little sawmill with two or three people up to 25 people with a plant and sales in about 18 countries around the world. Last year, Old Wood made somewhere around 240,000 square feet of wood flooring. We really expect that to go up by a factor of 10 very soon. That would mean potential revenue of $12 million a year, 3.5 million of that being pure profit. And yep, all that flooring has afforded the Olds a pretty kick-ass roof. We've been very blessed. And it is a little bit like a day-to-day -day vacation living here. We are outdoor people, don't tell all the neighbors, but if we're quiet about it, we have some pretty great motorcycle riding. Fridays are good, right? After work, I'm either in the woods, or I'm skiing, or I'm getting on a motorcycle and taking a ride with friends. If I'm gonna spend money on something, I would much rather have an experience or a good story than a toy any day. I'm gonna go start the pre-flight. I like aviation. I love to fly. Aviation's not cheap, but I've been really fortunate and blessed. You proposed them all without a ring? So what did you use, a Band-Aid? <laughs> I am very proud of what we've done. I'm really proud of having grown this business. It's been fun, it's been tough, it's been life. Anybody want to ride a motorcycle with me? I do.